How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO of New Age Electric. Uh, today, we're going to be talking, oh, uh, first thing and foremost, Happy New Year's to everybody. Um, we have about a little less than four hours central time. I am in uh, Illinois, so we are in central time, so we have about a little bit, four hours left. Um, everybody be safe. Uh, you're drinking. Uh, please do not drive home. Take an Uber. Plenty of Ubers and Lyfts out there. So uh, be careful, everybody. So today we're going to talk about fixtures in uh, Trimble's Acubit Classic uh, Database Manager. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, methods of creating fixtures and what the database already has in it. And then creating um, assemblies within the fixtures to kind of speed up uh, estimating. So we're going to jump into this. We're going to briefly talk about uh, what's in the database fixtures and then how you can create assemblies. And then we'll jump into a sample job and I'll show you some negative things to keep in, um, to keep in mind when doing these certain, certain methods. Okay, in your database manager... In your selection at the top, you're going to see uh, fixtures. And then you'll see uh, fluorescent, incandescent. If you got your own database, you already know what this is and how it looks like. Uh, for those of you who don't, it should look exactly like this. Um, the database that comes with Trimble is the Electrical US uh, Nika Imperial. Okay, so uh, first thing to understand is it's built in a hierarchy of three. It goes by fixture category, um, fixture type, and then a, a size. Uh, what you have to understand is it's like uh, a la carte. You pick and choose what you want, and then you either have to add, uh, add assemblies in the end as you're going. So if you want to pick, uh, let's say you have uh, fluorescent luminaires, and it's recessed and you pick the one by four so this is we are in a database so you can't take nothing off so there is no assemblies attached to this but in your fixture accessories and some of these in here also has assemblies too I don't know where they're at though because I don't this is not my database that I use but there are some that have assemblies in there but in the fixture accessories themselves, they do have some assemblies already done. Um, fixture drops, you got some whips, connectors, the wire. Um, what else is there? I know I got boxes and covers. So, it's, it's like I was saying before, it's a la carte. You pick and choose what you want, and you assemble it. Here's my problem with with this I'm trying to take off a job and I want to take it off as fast as possible I in my database itself I have these a set up in assemblies already so in this case I have them set up as you know we're just gonna say this is my LED recess uh, fixtures okay so we're gonna create these as I go uh, really quick I'm just gonna do one so I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna say fixture type and then what I want to do instead of going to the next screen to choose assembled parts and assembling this all together I just want to do a 2 by 4 with everything included so I'm gonna hit OK I'm going to use the common assemblies that already have these with everything with the support already in here. So we're going to click one of these and say this is the 2x4, right? So this has the 2x4, uh, the MC cable whip with number 14, two conductors, 3.8 connector, two wire connectors, there's a caliber booster shot ceiling clip with 12 wire now based on where you're at um a lot of the times in our jobs because of the seismic uh, 
requirement that we have to 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 adhere to. We can't use booster shots. Um, so we have to do mostly it's it's uh, expansion anchors with threaded rod or something to support. I mean, you could still use wire if you want, uh, but uh, there's certain things that they don't want because of seismic. You know, they, they don't want you to use things that can gradually wiggle out over time and, and, and you know, and fall. Um, so in this case, we just made an assembly. Now, this is just a standard recess grid. This is not um, plenum or Chicago plenum. If you don't know what Chicago plenum is, uh, you look up the code section in Chicago. It's totally different just from standard uh, plenum ceilings that are uh, required by uh, NEC code. Okay, so if you notice that you're going to have the base, factor one, and factor two. Here... And I'm going to give you a pro a pro tip when you're assembling these together. You're going to notice one thing is missing. The quantity. Quantity is missing. Now, I'm going to jump in to a estimate itself after this. And then we're going to plug this in just like this. I'm going to leave this one in here because I, I really don't use this um, database. I'm going to leave this in here. And then I'm going to show you the downside of doing this, but also the positive side of doing it this way too. So we're going to hit OK, and I'm going to leave this in here. So when we go back into our fixtures, this little uh, category is going to be filled out. So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to jump on an estimate, and then I'm going to we're going to show you how this works. Okay, so we have a, a demo. Uh, template that I started and this is as you can see it's Trimble Acubit Classic estimating Pro 15 all right so right now we want to take off fixtures and I'm going to show you the upsides and downsides of doing this so uh, for practice purposes I always put everything in here assigned to everything um, you know I'll leave it on drawings I'm not really using live count right now all right so we want to First off, in your takeoff on the top, make sure you have your fixture selected. And then we're going to call this an F1. F1, we're going to say it's a 2x4. So here's the newly created LED recess fixtures. Here's that 2x4. So we're going to double click this. All right. So like I was saying before, we didn't have this option in there. For nearly 10 years, I have been doing this um, this way, and I'm going to show you that's something that's going to blow your mind right now. Now, when you're taking off fixtures, you do not want to have your um, boxes multiplied by a uh, factor of one. Because what you're saying is that you're never going to share a box with another nearby fixture. And it's that's not the case. The guys in the field are always going to share at least one box to a fixture. And that's because they're lo located close enough to share the one box itself. All right. That being said, you see these factors here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the box in here and the support. Uh... Let me just see where everything is. Okay, single boxes, and we're going to say we're coming from uh, threaded rod with uh, from concrete. And we're going to say one anchor, three feet of rod, two X nuts, two flat washers. Okay, box cover. So from what I could see here, this is a pretty good setup. Now keep in mind. This is all one. Now, this is the downside of doing this. I'm going to hit OK, right? And we're going to take, and I'm going to hit finish. We're going to take this off twice. I'm going to say these, these, there are 50 of these, right? Positive side of doing it this way, that F1 fixture is always going to be up here. Like I said before, it's imperative. Do it this way. Your fixture is not going to be buried in here. 
with the other stuff because if you do it the other way where if you just go to common assemblies and then I'm going to say LEDs uh, with the support uh, it doesn't matter it's just a demonstration purposes and I'm going to say one here put it in here right go back to extension now the fixture is buried in here um, it's going to go in order and how the database is so this is going to be located somewhere in the middle of all your other stuff so that's why I don't like doing it not only that you can't change the name of this until you go uh, if you have a by default here and so you can see this then you can change this to an F1 the negative side about that is not every job is like this but you might have um, several different types of two by fours and they're called like F1A, F1B, F1C and there might be different Calvins or different ceiling types or whatnot. And if you keep using that same two by fours, you can't distinguish them. It just takes them off as all F1s. So that's the other negative side of taking it off like this versus using the feature that in my opinion is meant to be used this way so you keep track of all your your fixtures um why you want to keep track because if your quantities don't match up there's no going back you got the job you missed 10 fixtures those 10 fixtures cost three four hundred bucks there's no way of making that up i mean you lost that money you're gonna have to make it up somewhere else i mean that's a lot of money depending on the job itself so that's why we do it that way okay so if i double click in here you add, you can't change nothing in here at all you have to go back in the assembly make adjustments and it will automatically adjust on this end okay here is this what's going to blow your mind everything is being multiplied out times one to whatever quantity you put in right you follow me now we're going to go back in here. I'm going to edit all this stuff. I want to say that I'm going to share a box and a support for all the fixtures minus the whip and the connector, uh, the 3 connector. The wire connectors, um, I'm going to share because I can put multiple number 12s under one wire nut. So we're going to leave this alone and we want to cut everything in half now. We'll leave these here. We'll say, you know, it's technically it's going to be three wire nuts with a ground. So we're going to put 1.5 here. And I'm going to show you what happens. Now, if you're no Acubid, you know that this, every time you take it off, this quantity is going to be times that, which is going to be 1.5, right? That's what everybody, that's what the program does. Everybody knows this. So. I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm going to put 1.5. Um, one, I'm sorry, no, 0.5 because we're going to do a half a box. We'll e equal one box for every two fixtures. So I apologize about that. So you see how it's doing it, right? One screw, a threaded rod, we'll put one and a half feet, and then we'll put one and one. So now all this is all set up. So every time you take off a fixture, it should add one box instead, right? Hit OK, finish. Here's the surprising part. You jump into here, guess what? You still have 50 boxes. For nearly 10 years of doing this, I just learned a couple years ago that it's not it's, a, it's completely ignoring factor one and factor two when you're taking these off. There's no way around it. Now, there is a trick. Here's my trick. I'm going to get out of here. If you already have your fixture types already set up with assemblies in here, simply grab this, hit control C, copy it over. Control V. Now what you're doing is now you're telling the program it, it it doesn't know what else to do besides what you told it to do. So now it's gonna 
it's going to take off a half a box. So you take off two fixtures, it's going to give you 0.5. Uh, 0.5 for the boxes, your supports, whatever you know that it's going to share. So you're not going to share whips. You're always going to have, you know, this has a 7.5. That's up to you. Um, we don't put whips that uh, large, but that's, that's you know, demonstration purposes only. So I'm going to hit OK, right? Now you're going to see everything changed. The material, your labor and everything. Now, that was the killer thing for me. All those extra boxes and supports were all embedded in that fixture for years because of that. So now if I come in here, remember we got 50 fixtures. So technically what? We should have 25 boxes at a minimum. I double click in here. And here we go. 25 boxes, 25, 25 screw anchors, 75 feet of threaded rod, 50 hex nuts because we need at least two of them for each of the boxes. Like I said, for nearly 10 years, I never knew they was doing that. I've had countless people uh, who have who have 20, 30 years uh, experience doing this. And um, I noticed that a couple of years ago that it wasn't doing what you were telling you to do unless you do it the way I just showed you. Now, that situation is only... Uh, affect it when you do it this way now if I do it in the common assembly it's it doesn't work like that because of the fact that it's just the way the program works there is no no quantity um, in the other one which is the, the you know your takeoff designation for fixtures but if I do it here and I go let's do this here well let's do something with the uh, with the support and stuff in there and then we'll throw the box in there and I just find this really weird that it does this uh, where's my single shot junction boxes T rod and we'll do the same thing now if I hit 0.5 here 0.5 here 0.5 here it should all work um, I know hope it doesn't make a liar of me because I really did this before. So if I do 50, it should only do 25. Yeah, you see? It took into effect that this factor was was um, in this cell. So if you don't know, pretty much Trimble Acumen is it's just a big Excel program. That's all it is. Everything... It, it, you can create this program. Um, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but you can create this program in Excel yourself. It wouldn't take long. I say if you dedicate yourself for three months, you could probably recreate this program yourself. It's not hard. It's common Excel formulas to create everything in here. The only thing you have to do is create your own database. That's it. You could do this yourself. And I, and I, from what I heard from the older guys... There used to be Excel programs they already had done. It just wasn't as clean and 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 more organized as this one. So I hit OK now. So you see the hours are similar. I mean, there's probably certain things I didn't do in here. Um, I I don't I don't know what it could be, but the hours are close enough. But you notice that the 25 box everything carried over. Like I said before, this is amazing that I just caught this years ago, but only about three or four years ago, I was just estimating full-time versus just project managing and estimating, so I had more time to kind of dive into this, and, you know, your competitors are always, you know, you're, you're always higher, and, 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 you know, it gets aggravating, so you start looking into this program, start seeing things in a different perspective, and, and trying to figure out why the hell are you always high? And lo and behold, there are certain things that I was doing that I was always high. And then when you fix it, you're like, oh, well, I'm right there with the bottom three guys now. So um, that's it and our, our demo for fixtures today. Um, if you guys want any kind of uh, tips and tricks on certain things or, or maybe... 
uh, you want to know more about some of these bottom tabs I do have certain videos on these as well um, but if there's certain something something you don't know drop a comment I'll make a video and maybe there's something on here that I haven't seen yet maybe it's there's a, a wrong you know formula built in here that that's not correct but uh, yeah Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Everybody be safe and happy, have a great, happy New Year's. Thank you for watching.